So noting that um, it is almost impossible to use low pressure gas with the standard stove, as you can see, low as I might, nothing is getting through, and that's because this is supposed to use high pressure canisters. So we'll have to take this apart and see if we can find a pin is there. And there is the pin using a number six millimeter wrench. So unscrew the pin. And as you can see, and it's completely open. This goes back together. The way that these are made for the high pressure, there's a small hole there. And then there it looks like there's some kind of metal, maybe it's copper, that acts as a kind of filter or a pressure restrictor. So we've just removed that. Then we can screw this back on. And let's go out and see how that works. Once again, we're going to take our biogas hose now that we've removed the pressure restrictor and put it on inside there. And because it's uh, flanged, it makes a pretty tight seal. And then we're going to close this thing up so that no gas gets out while we turn on the gas. When we open it, we see that we get A little camping flame. And we can use to demonstrate that there is in fact a flame here. There you go. So little gas stove is working here. Once again, just so you can see the flame from the camping stove. This was again with about six bricks worth of pressure on it, and that's opened up full bore. So you can certainly then run your camping stove off of this. So this particular kit comes both with the camping stove, which we just showed, and with a mantle lantern, and that's to produce gaslight. And that's what we want to see is if we can produce the gaslight without having to buy these ridiculous fossil fuel derived adventure gas cartridges imagine hauling these in your backpack out to some remote place in Africa or the Middle East and then uh, not having any light when you run out and having to go back to town to get them whereas you always have a supply of garbage so it should be the same basic procedure here take this off Remove the glass cover, carefully remove the mantle, so there is the potentially radioactive mantle. For this you're going to need a number 19 millimeter socket wrench. come out. And then the next step is to just unscrew these with a Phillips head screwdriver. There's three screws in here. And so this comes off and a ring there. And 
from this piece. This piece is on pretty tight, so get yourself a bunch of pliers with a good grip and turn. And there it is, that same, that same pressure restrictor pin. It takes a six millimeter And it's the same, the same thing. It has the pressure restricting metal in there and a tiny, you can't even see it really, a hole. So with that removed, then this goes back on. So now we are ready to do our experiment. This is the mantle, by the way. The mantle is made of silk or nylon or some other fabric that has been impregnated with a solution of thorium nitrate 99% and cerium 1%. And then in order to work, you have to burn it once so that you create an oxide. And that thorium and cerium oxide are rare earth oxides that are luminescent. They become incandescent when they then are burned again with gas. But first you have to prepare the mantle by burning it. I'm hoping that this mantle is one of the newer ones using yttrium in place of thorium because thorium is radioactive and it's not a good idea to have radioactive substances around. Yttrium is more stable and lasts longer, which is an advantage but some companies still use thorium because yttrium gives 20% less light. I'd rather have 20% less light and not have radioactivity. So anyway, the first thing you do after you've made sure that the mantle is attached to the top and to the bottom grooves of the mount is you burn it and you let it Again, you don't want to breathe that smoke because there's probably toxins in there. But you burn the mantle until it becomes white. You can begin to see it glow. As you can see it's taking a while, but we are getting the whole thing white. And at this point, the mantle is very, becomes very fragile. So you don't want to touch it after this point. But that's the mantle now ready for use. And then we replace the glass cover to protect the mantle. So now our mantle is ready to use. So we got plenty of gas. Now the nice thing is we just turn off the stove from here and we're going to replace the head of the camping stove. and replace that with the lantern. To light it, we we'll have to open it up, turn on the gas, 